So in this video, I'm going to show you my new favorite method of finding proven products. So proven products, in my opinion, are by far the easiest products to sell because they're well proven. Um, when I say proven, then I mean products that have proof behind them. They have data behind them and they have evidence that they're actually good products and they're actually selling as well. Now, don't get us confused with looking on AliExpress at AliExpress order numbers. Many beginners, when they first get started in dropshipping, they may not have heard of AliExpress before. So they'll go into AliExpress, they'll find a product such as this sponge holder that has nearly 17,000 orders and immediately they think it's a good product. But when you're doing product research on AliExpress, what you have to consider or keep in the back of your mind is that Maybe drop shipping orders are probably 15, maybe maximum 20% of the overall order volume on an average. That's not for every single product, that's just across the whole platform. So just because a product is selling well on AliExpress doesn't necessarily mean it's a good product to drop ship. So again, going back to this example of the sponge holders, yes, there's 16 and a half thousand orders nearly and they're really cheap, but I challenge anyone right now watching this video to try and sell these profitably and make over 10K is just not gonna be possible because the margins just aren't there. For us to sell these successfully, you have to work on a ballpark number of say plus 15 pounds to allow for your marketing costs. So to try and sell these for 20 pounds, I think anybody out there, even the best marketers, are really gonna struggle. So in this video, I wanna take you through a demonstration of a new tool that I've been using recently. It's one that I've actually paid for by myself through my own money. The only tool tools and resources and apps, whatever it may be that I suggest in my videos will only ever be ones that I've tried and tested myself. I get questions all the time when you're going to release a TikToks video or when you're going to release a Google Ads video and the truth is I'll only ever put out information once I'm confident that I can back it up through my own experience. So with that being said, before we jump into it, I do release videos every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. When you're watching this video, it will be Saturday. Next video will be Monday. And the planned video for that day is five proven products that I've actually used sales source to find. And I'll go through all the information, back the products up, retail prices, profit margins, interest to target on Facebook, as well as all the different pieces of the information and data that I use to essentially decide whether the product is proven or not and whether it's worth committing to and actually committing the resources to testing. Without any further ado then, let's jump into my computer and let me show you sales source. So this is the sales source homepage. There's many, many different things in which you can do on this software. Too many to mention in one video and to be honest, and up front with you. Um, I don't actually use all of the um, different tools and things and that you can do with it basically. There's only maybe two or three things that I find useful for my own research and they're gonna be things I demonstrate in this video. But obviously feel free to try the software yourself. I believe it comes with a free trial and you can have a play around and see how you like to use it. So the first thing you can do on sales source then if I draw your attention to left hand column, if it's a left hand column, if we go to stores, lots of different information about pretty much every Shopify store out there. So on the left we have the name, in the center we have the monthly traffic which is verified by sales source themselves. I'm not 100% sure how they come to this conclusion, but when you compare it against other tools, so for example, um, I've forgotten the name, if I click up here, what's it called, Similar Web, then the actual traffic to the site seems to match up relatively similar, so it's gonna be in and around the correct range. Products, 1.5 products on the website, and it also tells you what theme they're using too. So if we go to the themes tab over here on the left-hand side, we can see that the top theme used by all the Shopify stores out there um, is a debut theme. There's currently 2,818 stores using the debut theme. What's really nice about SalesSource too is that we actually click on the debut theme. We have all these different filters, and essentially we can see the different sizes of different stores using the free debut theme. There's a lot of kind of, and there's a lot of people out there which would say that free themes are just not up to standard, you can't make money using them. But let's just have a look, say at the top three or four, we can see we have PetMe, which is 3.3 million monthly traffic using the debut theme. So it just goes to show, you can make money using the free themes if you do everything else correctly. Let's go back to our stores tab then because there's a lot more information on here to show you. So SalesSource will track pretty much every Shopify store, not just dropshipping ones. So this is where the filters at the top come in handy. So for a start, we can filter by country. I like to go straight to the UK because I want to see what's selling in the UK. Then I'll do a separate search for the US to see what's selling well in the US because what tends to happen is things will sell really, really well in the US first because that's where the majority of dropshippers go to. It's just America are really good at setting trends. It's just the way it is. 
and then the products will start to kind of filter out and start selling well in other countries. So if you do a search starting with the US and you find a product that's selling really well, you can then come back into Salesforce filter by different countries and see if there's any other country in which it's selling in too. If it's not, then it might be a case in which there's opportunity to be one of the first advertisers to actually bring and drop ship that product to that specific to that specific country. So I'm going to be focusing on UK stores, um, only drop shipping stores too, because I want to be looking um, at products that I can source myself. I always leave this as any stores. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure what a verified store means. And then this is basically just different ways of filtering it. So if we go traffic high to low, then in theory, we're going to be looking at the biggest drop shipping stores on Shopify that sales source are currently tracking. So what I like to do from this point onwards then is the main thing I'm kind of focusing on is the images. To be honest, I'm trying to find, and the name in fact, what I'm trying to find are stores that sound really drop shipping and sell the kind of like stereotypical AliExpress products because these are the one I'm going to be interested in. One of the biggest advantages to Salesforce 2, well not one of the biggest advantages, but a good thing about it is you can open all of these up into different tabs whereas one of the annoying things say about Sell the Trend which is another tool that I use myself, um, you can't actually do that so you can't copy and paste and send different links to people so it's just a nice little um, extra thing um, that I really like about Salesforce. So scrolling through then, we have ShopZoo, let's open up that. These look like the stereotypical kind of AliExpress products that we'll be able to find. Um, so does Light Strips, but I'm gonna stay away from that for now. Um, 200K traffic isn't enough for me. Let's go for High Viz Sport. And then at the bottom here, we have Dogs Loves Store. So that sounds like the typical kind of drop shipping dog store, but if I open it up, we'll take a look. Um, and see what we find. So stand with Fur Baby Friend then, one of the tabs we opened, this is where we can find out a lot of information about the products that a store is selling and also whether they're the best seller. So we know roughly this store is doing 450K average monthly traffic. If we go to the products tab, we can see what their best selling product is. So it gives us a pretty good idea of what's selling really well for these guys. And if they're getting this amount of traffic, then it just goes to show that product must be a good one. It's proven to sell. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a best selling product for a store that's doing these sorts of volumes. Let's check out shopsu.com then. Um, this doesn't really make sense to me. So let's go to their products tab. We can see again, kind of like a stereotypical um, drop shipping product. Their three in one silicon removal and corking multi tool seems to be their best selling product. If we open up their URL and head over to their Shopify store, we'll be able to see kind of what other products they sell and just get kind of more of a feel of what kind of business they are and whether we can actually learn anything from them and actually replicate anything from them. So straight away, this looks like they debuted a fire theme to me. Um, we can always double check all the information from Salesforce too. We can use, there's so many different Chrome extensions out there, but we can use one called Koala Inspector um, to see what theme they're using. They are indeed using Debutify theme. If we go to products, bestsellers, these guys are actually hiding them, which is no problem. We can scroll down through um, and see the kind of products in which they're pushing, which will typically be the ones on the home page. Looking at the bestsellers collection then, now obviously there's no guarantee in these are their bestselling products because you can put any products you want into a collection and then call that collection bestsellers, but it still gives you an idea of what kind of products they're pushing and what products they're gonna be advertising. So let's double check the information then from Salesforce. Let's bring in our tool, our uh, Chrome extension, sorry, called SimilarWeb. SimilarWeb have it roughly at about the same kind of 200K to 300K monthly visits. And then if we hit the More Insights button, which is gonna take us to the SimilarWeb website, we'll be able to find out where this traffic is coming from. And once we know that, we've learned something about the site, we'll know whether we can replicate it and whether these products are actually working on the platform in which you wanna be selling on. So traffic to shop Zoo by country, we obviously can see that US 25%, which shows obviously they must have a lot of US customers. India, interestingly, and so is Brazil too. Let's keep scrolling down then. We can see traffic sources for Shopsu, and we can see that 72% of them are coming from social. So if I had a hazard a guess, I'd say a lot of this traffic is probably coming from Facebook, but I do believe that SimilarWeb actually tells us a bit more information about that traffic. So 72% from social, and actually 95% is coming from LinkedIn, which is actually really bizarre. Um, I've never seen that before. They must be running quite a lot of LinkedIn ads. Now, I don't know a lot about LinkedIn ads. I don't know if you can see what ads people are running, but it'd be interesting to kind of 
delve a bit deeper into that to see which products they are actually advertising and which ones they are pushing. Let's go back to the stores then in which we found at the beginning. Um, so we have Dogs Love Store. Um, let's open up the tab and take a look at their website. We can also check out their best-selling products. Number one is the stale, stainless steel name tags. And then number two is we have this Dogs Bath and Massage Brush. So let's take a look on their website. First of all, I'm going to check out Koala Inspector to see exactly what their best selling products are. It matches um, sales source, which goes to show sales source may be um, actually quite accurate because on that previous store it showed us the best selling products, whereas Koala Inspector didn't. So maybe we can actually trust sales source more than I originally thought. So number one is the stainless steel name tags, and number two is the dog's bathing massage brush. These guys are driving on average around 300k visitors every single month for this particular dog product. And in my opinion, this would be considered a proven product. There's no way these guys would be driving that sort of traffic to these sorts of products unless they were actually selling well. Let's take a look at another example. I'm gonna go for high vis sport. I think for this time of year in the UK is a really nice time. Lots of people are gonna be out and about commuting, working out in the dark, and these sorts of products are gonna be a lot more popular because people wanna stay safe, they wanna wear reflective gear, and they wanna let people know so people can see them and avoid them on the roads, on the pavements, so on and so forth. So again, estimated monthly traffic is around 300K. If we have a look at the best selling products, we've got these um, mesh leggings. These will do really, really well in January. I'm guessing they probably, so these launched seven months ago, which is February time. So that's still kind of when gym stuff is quite popular. This launched eight months ago and this eight months ago. If I had to hazard a guess, I would say these guys are gearing up for a really good Q4 um, and winter those early months next year, probably because all of this sort of stuff is gonna come into demand. And if we take a look at the Google Trends search term for a reflective jacket, we can see that kind of towards the end of September, October, November time, the search term spikes massively in popularity. So it just goes to show these, again, are proven products for this time of year. And this is why I love proven products so much, is because there's so many more people looking to buy this particular product, it becomes a whole lot easier to sell a product that people and more and more people actually actively looking to buy. Next up on Salesforce, I wanted to show you the apps tab. Works similar to the themes tab, to be honest, it shows you the most popular apps that are installed by Shopify stores. If you're new to Shopify, it's definitely worth checking out because you won't be familiar with what the popular apps are, but you can scroll through, there's up to 34 pages, and the top two, three pages are really decent apps that you should definitely install into your Shopify store, have a play around, test two weeks on, test two weeks off, and see if they actually bring more money to the table than what they actually cost. So definitely worth checking out. Next up, I wanna show you the products tab then. So if we hit products, it will take us to the Shopify product section. Now, to be honest, a lot of the products that come up at this point will be more or less useless because it's tracking lots of different products across lots of different Shopify stores, but this is where the filters at the top come in. So again, I'm gonna go for, instead of UK actually, let's go for the US and see what's doing really well in the US. Then we can check the UK, and if there's not many people selling it very well in the UK, then like I mentioned earlier on in the video, then potentially there's a gap or some opportunity to be had. So United States of America, we're gonna go for drop shipping products. These can be the products in which we can source without having to commit thousands of pounds up front for a bulk quantity. And straight away, we're hit with number one bestseller, traffic 1.7 million people a month to betterjuice.myshopify.com. So let's open that up in a new tab so we can check them out. And we can also see that the fulfillment method is through Oblo. And if I'm not mistaken, the only website in which you can fulfill through Oblo is for AliExpress. So these guys, Better Joyce, Dot myshopify.com that won't be their url it's just betterchoice.co these guys will be drop shipping from aliexpress and they're driving 1.7 million visits every single month which just goes to show this is a proven product there's no way this would be this popular unless it was selling and actually making them a profit so let's check out betterchoice.co then and see what kind of information we can find out we know that estimated monthly traffic is 1.7 million which is obviously huge and if we go to the products tab and have a look at the best sellers we know the best selling product is this kind of interactive pet toy which they're selling for 30 dollars launched this six months ago we can see number two is kind of like this ice snow shield which you put on your car then they have this four hole ice ball maker and as we can see so on and so forth let's take a look at their actual website then and see what kind of setup they've got um, 
so if I'm not mistaken, this looks like the debut theme. Let's check it out on our Koala Inspector. Um, it's called the Motion Theme, which is a custom theme apparently. The overall design is quite simple. Um, there's nothing on here that looks overly complicated, that doesn't look replicable or unachievable, which is a good thing. It just goes to show you haven't got to go crazy, haven't got to go super expensive or super complex. You just have to get the fundamentals correctly. The right product, a decent looking store, and tagged in the right people. So this is the product page then for their best selling products and for a store which is getting a significant amount of traffic each month. Again, just very simple. This is in fact very similar to the product page template in which I went through in my latest um, product page video. And just to kind of quickly recap over that you have, I usually put heading at the top to try and capture the consumer's attention. Have a few good points, you have a GIF. A video will help sell a product 10 times better than any image will. Then they go into the simple feature Features. They go into a how to use and how to lock the product details and then the very simple looks reviews app installed And that's all there is to it You just need a good product to put in front of the right people and you can get some really good results They also have the buy with PayPal dynamic checkout button by default Google pay will kind of trump PayPal for some reason for whatever reason It's definitely not as popular here in the UK. I'm not sure about the US um, if you're from the US, in fact, let me know in the comment section whether a lot of people use Google Pay in America because in the UK, it's typically Apple Pay and PayPal. So if I had to guess, they've disabled Google Pay so people can see straight away they can shop with PayPal, which then instills trust with their customers. On their Contact Us page, they have a physical address, which again, just instills more trust. They come across as more legitimate and a professional and actual real business. One of the most difficult things and obstacles you have to kind of overcome is getting your customers to actually trust you and having all this kind of information which you would expect behind any legitimate business are, are great ways to do that basically if we go back to our product section then on sales source and filter by best sellers high to low we can see at the top leggings which is no surprise obviously a super super popular product especially in january when everybody's making their new year's resolution to get in shape and lose weight you have the dog water bottle again a very typical product which has been exhausted quite a lot um, certainly in the US and the UK I'm not sure about other countries and then we have these vertex boosts which is some sort of soles so I can see lots of cool um, different products that you can just jump into delve into try and do a bit of research into them you can find out who's selling them how well they are what sort of ads they're running by using the Facebook ad library by using the tool in which I forgot the name of again um, similar web so you can see in this video there's lots of different ways in which I've showed you in which you can research into products find them pretty quickly in this video we found two or three really decent ones which we can delve into more so hopefully after watching this video if you do go ahead and try out sales source you'll be able to find some of those products yourself as well and with that being said guys i think i've shown you all the features in which i wanted to so if you're still with me i really do appreciate it thank you very much for watching this video um, if you enjoyed it please hit that like button if you want to see that top five proven products video that's coming out on monday make sure you hit subscribe too and one final quick message then before you go 1st of October, I'm releasing a new course. Um, it's gonna completely change the whole drop shipping vibe online. It's a course that I wanna make affordable for everyone, so it will cost you less than what your phone is costing you each month. Um, so if you want more information about that and that's of interest to you, uh, please check out the first link in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on Monday, in a new video.